Hello good people, good morning from Thaya Bangladesh. Today I'm going to review a uh, designer fragrance and we're going to have a second episode which is going to be a comparison video between two John Gorbito's fragrances. Hopefully you like them and uh, wishing you a good morning from Thaya Bangladesh. Very peaceful and quiet, early days of winter. Uh, nice, comfortable weather but still you need air conditioning, you know, uh, on most part if you live in the city. Um, so yeah, I'm just awaiting for the intense cold weathers and hopefully our COVID situation is not going to get worse. And, but if it does, we better stay home. All right. So keep it in mind that Corona is coming back and uh, basically uh, claiming still lives and a lot of affected people. So do not feel like, you know, you could go out with, without masks and stuff like that and large gathering, avoid it because uh, in the cold weathers, it, it's highly likely it's gonna, the number is going to spike and still we don't have any uh, solutions or any, uh, what do you call, uh, vaccination for this virus it's going to take a little longer time so anyway let's look at bulgari first episode and it's i'm very excited to review this and this fragrance is from the line of a uh, very popular line of bulgari man and bulgari basically is a popular designer house they release a lot of good stuff this is one of the hidden gems this is discontinued but they release a lot of flankers from this bulgari man in black extreme uh, i think wood essence neroli essence they have quite a few more i reviewed and then the All Blacks edition. So there are a lot of uh, Bulgari man flankers. I covered most of them, but uh, there are a few ones, uh, limited time release I did not find anywhere. But today the one I'm gonna review is gonna be brand new. So it's gonna be Glacial, glacial Essence. Uh, quite a few reviewers covered it. I have seen Max Forty's review. <clears throat> Even yesterday, I saw Max Forty putting put this and he said it compared to another designer fragrance and he's asked for opinion. So uh, let's say, uh, this fragrance is uh, sort of like in the freshest side of things okay they have quite a few notes breakdown but it reminds me of something very very familiar okay like it's it's something i had for a long time okay so we'll talk about it so bulgari well done they have quite a few lines bulgari aqua bulgari puro bulgari black bulgari man uh, and they have their you know like more upper class lines so let's check tackle this uh, thanks to my cousin who picked it up for me and this is a 15 ml version thankfully it's not a splash it's a sprayable and this one cost about like 20 something dollars for a miniature like this so at this present moment it's still expensive retail is going to be high for 100 ml 100 ml is going to be like uh like 80 85 bucks okay so don't do it wait for the fragrance to hit discounters which it will in a few weeks time so here's the packaging very beautiful i love this packaging it's basically the bigger bottle you get it just gets bigger in size but basic bottle stays like this so bulgari man glacial essence is edp concentration this is a 15 ml version okay and uh, i think this one um is has a sprayer as i told you the bottle looks just pretty much the same but it has a little bit different apparatus i'll show you this is how the bottle looks the color combination is very pretty it has white here uh silver here up top and this bottle glass color is like bluish okay juice color i think it's uh hard to tell it could be like gray light blue or white as well i don't know i mean like transparent i don't know but uh nice little detailing all over the thing is if you see side by side the same exact bottle so the small bottle what you don't get i'm going to show you the bulgari all bottles have this one specialty it has the gunmetal plate up here cover and you twist it to the side it goes there and it locks okay this locking mechanism is there and under the bottle is some little bit of a space indented there and when you put it back then you can spray again okay basically that's how these bottles work this one for the miniature you can just take it out and it has a separate spray which is cute so i've been wearing it for some time like since yesterday and i <laughs> don't think i don't need so much more time but it's initial impression so i'll let you know if this is worthy of a bottle so i'm wearing this in early morning it's in my hand the dry down uh, after two hours very uh, faint by now let's spray this once again okay good sprayer for the small one is very cute these little miniature bottles they're always cute especially when they come with a sprayer so when i smell it for the first time you know like the notes break down everything you just take a look i'll leave the fragrant link below but when i read the notes i was expecting like this to be something else even though reviewers said max forte or i think maybe chad reviewed it or steven did uh, they said this fragrance is nothing uh, extraordinary it does not jump out of the skin or it is nothing like quite extraordinary right so they said it's a nice little fragrance but they could live without it 
I think on most part. Um, when I smelled it for the first time, <clears throat> I was like, I know this DNA. First thing that came to my mind is very, very familiar. And I did not really understand um, like why would they release a brand new fragrance which is reminiscent of something I smelled a long time back, okay? Um, then I was like, I thought at first I'm smelling like something like a uh, <clears throat> aqua Fahrenheit, sorry. Early morning, the voice will be disturbing, okay? So I was thinking like, you know, aqua Fahrenheit, you know, I thought a lot of violets. I did not, you know, pick, pick up something else. So I was thinking like, maybe Azaro Chrome mixes with aqua Fahrenheit, like, you know, kind of cooling, um, sort of that violet leaves going on. But then I came home, then I was looking at Max Fortis post, and then he posted like, this fragrance reminds him of Two Hunt to NYC by Carolina Herrera, which was released long time back. <clears throat> then it came and hit me. I'm like, damn, <laughs> this and that, yes. When you know that that fragrance, this fragrance will be automatically like, oh, this is that, <laughs> but not exactly. But uh, it has a little bit different green notes. It is less peppery, okay, like then Carolina Herrera. It is fresh, kind of like a cooling gray metallic kind of opening. Uh, reminds me a little bit of this fragrance as well. Like if you know this one, <clears throat> La Lo Major Desse, it has this metallic tone, um, kind of cooling, refreshing. This one, it's something, think of a fall day. Think of like a mild cold day, damp day. It's perhaps a little bit sun is coming out, but it's not really like hot and humid. Uh, the soil is still moist from the rain or, you know, shower last night. Um, and you want to wear something that's not, screaming so much okay not very loud but something that's you know goes with that weather something like Xenia Vumo okay um, this fragrance feels like that it's not very loud it's not very long lasting for EDP concentration this one is not very long lasting on my skin after fourth hour mark it's completely gone okay uh, so performance is not its strong point okay um, give me a sec let me mute that yeah, sorry, I was getting messages. Anyway, so what I was trying to say, the longevity is not great. Uh, if you compare this with Oud Essence or uh, Neroli, uh, their Bulgari Neroli, Oud Neroli, that one, those have much better performance than this one, uh, having the same uh, concentration. But uh, this is not how I'm going to judge the fragrance. It's just that uh, the fragrance seems familiar. So that is a, not a huge no. Many fragrances smell like each other. But as packaging like this, you know, when you see nice little bottle comes out you know like this you have high expectation like i want that bottle i want to buy that i want to blind buy this you can blind buy it if you like to want to but the sad thing is it's not off, gonna offer you anything new perhaps a bit more polished a little bit more citrus less pepper and that cooling metallic note that's there i'm not sure if it has violets but it does feel like it's uh, somewhere in the middle of the road uh, honestly speaking it's like not inspiring me to buy a full bottle or be getting a big bottle. I'll be just happy with this. I don't know if I'll even finish this bottle. Uh, it's a fragrance you can forget. Okay. I hardly say that. Um, it's not disappointing to say any, by any means. The bottles are really, really nice. And I'm not going to be offended. Like <clears throat> if a fragrance is going to be like familiar, it's okay. I can use it, carry it around, you know, use for casual. So this feels like a casual, uh, like a fall, spring, summer kind of fragrance. It's pretty much forgettable. Uh, you can use it for gym as well, or you're going to shopping mall. You need something, you know, like 7-Eleven, you're going to pick up a hot dog or something like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you can wear this. If, if you're going for uh, just one hour trip somewhere, one to two hour trip on your truck, and just driving, you know, like MACD's drive through you can put this on by any means. In the summertime, it's going to do okay. Uh, perhaps it will bring you compliments because uh, not everybody is a fragrance enthusiast. People just want to smell good. They like good smelling people. This is a good smelling fragrance. Okay, fresh, metallic, kind of like a green kind of fragrance, uh, kind of aquatic. But if you ask me out of these two, which one I would pick, I would pick this one any day because of the like, nature of this fragrance is very, very strong. It will last you easily over eight hours still with this current formulation. So no contest for the performance, but this one can be like a mild, toned down version of 212. That's what Bulgari did. So overall, uh, the packaging is very beautiful. I'll give the packaging 10 out of 10. I love these bottles. Uh, looks very pretty, but uh, smell, everything considered uh, average. Everything is like for me, average. The performance, if it was great, it would get perhaps like a seven, but I'm giving this like a six out of 10 for the glacial essence. Um, 
in a way blind by worthy again if you have so many fragrances you don't need this okay but try it at a mall try it at a mall uh, or get a sample then you'll see and decide for yourself never pass or blind by fragrance based on a review these are just for reference purpose thanks for watching glacial essence 6 out of 10 from house of bulgari time to move on to the second video take care bye bye